After a jam-packed couple of days, Mobile World Congress 2018 is finally coming to a close. We saw manufacturers flaunt their best devices, but like at any tech show, there were a few standouts. To start with, we have the flagships of the season, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Although weeks of leaks spoil the surprise of the specs and the design, the camera's predictive slow motion capture and the inclusion of a variable aperture is nothing short of impressive. Even more curious is the optic blood pressure sensor, which we're skeptical of and we'll test the moment that the phones come into the office. Samsung fixed all the niggles we had with the S8s, so the S9s are shaping up to be an awesome pair of smartphones. On a completely different note, the phone with no leaks to speak of and the dark horse of the show was Vivo's Apex Concept phone. Though it's not perfect, this was the most innovative device we saw and we're really excited if this is what the future has in store. With a fingerprint reader spanning half the display, a pop-up front camera that requires no notch, and an insane screen to body ratio, we're sure that more than a few tech geeks had their hearts broken at the news that it's only a concept for now. Don't worry though, we might see a real device announced as soon as next week. Another fan favorite is more a fun blast from the past than a glimpse at the future. Nokia's banana phone, the 8110 4G. The Nokia 8 Sirocco also plays on nostalgia with its name, but with a completely modern take. However, the Nokia 7 Plus is the Nokia that stole the show, thanks to an elegant design, specs that have everything you need, and a price that doesn't require a blood sacrifice. A lot of people were instantly hooked. We were also impressed with Nokia's well-designed space for recording video. Speaking of design, Sony has finally changed up its form factor and fans are already missing the iconic blockiness. Will Sony stick to its new curves for future releases? It's hard to say, but we'll see soon enough. At the very least, we're loving their dynamic vibration system, which is unlike anything else we've seen on a phone. Now before we can say buenos noches and wrap things up, we have to talk about exactly that. Notches. We saw quite a few marginal brands playing the copycat game, and while that's not anything new, we're disturbed by the feature they have chosen to copy the iPhone X's infamous notch. It's not only small brands, even large manufacturers are joining the hype train. The most notable inclusion, the Asus Zenfone 5. We're sure these phones will all be top notch, but they really don't need one on their screens. Okay, okay, enough puns. I'm not even sure what more to say. Although MWC 2018 is now behind us, don't despair because the next couple of weeks are promising a few major releases, like the Huawei P20, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, and more. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest tech news and check us out at gsmarina.com.